Okay, Beano Black here, folks. And basically, number one, get off your trip of trying to prove me wrong or right. I am just giving you data and pictures, okay? But with people getting a hold of me and, I mean, you know, on the internet and answering and putting quotes at the idea, get over it. It is, and you need to get over it. It is not an anomaly of a camera. These web cameras were designed to have the sun shoot into them and not give glare off. You can do all the scientific you want. What's bleeding is the idea that the truth of the matter is the idea that what everybody keeps on trying to say that is some kind of electronic anomaly, it, it's not the sun you're looking at, number one. Okay, that's my number one. I'm not wanting to get into arguments, but the data and stuff that I'm trying to share you and show you that the idea that this is not the sun and it's fact that it's not the sun and it's fact data ask any scientist any astronomer Rigel can't terrace B can't terrace with a e k e n t okay Rigel can terrace can Taurus B is in front of the doggone sun you go to Soho and I'll have a shot of that in a few minutes these are the photos from down at Casey station I'm gonna play the video too in a second hang on now see the idea that you're going to see in a second that the idea these shadows are dark and black, okay? The camera shoots that, gives you that, okay? Then you have this, then you have that, okay? That cloud is shadowing whatever, whether you want to sit there and say that it's the certain pixels of the sun that's making it black out, okay, fine. Then you sit on that and don't whatever you do, don't get off that bench, okay? I'm not sitting in any certain bench on this, okay? I'm showing you what is the camera is showing you okay so the idea that if there is a ray that's going to be bright enough for the camera to pixelate it out then why is that little light cloud cover which is black shading the sun okay and there you go there so that cloud is shading the sun so it's blocking an object it's not blocking the sun or in number one, i.e., I'm even wrong sitting there saying that because that's not the sun. This is the clock. The sun does not show, and I'm going to show you in some photos in a second. The sun goes, even though they get like 23 to 24 hours of daylight down in Antarctica, where this is coming from, is the idea that at 12.15 a.m., that is that right there. Okay, That's bright, just as bright as it is a little bit here. But, and you're going to see the video, this is going to dive in. This is going to dive and come from over top of the sky, this direction, and going to come in in front of Rigel Cantaris B. So it's something out there. Now, is it the latest? Go to my, uh, I'm not going to state it at 64 or whatever the heck is. We have a close object, the closest. YU55 was supposed to be the closest, okay? So the idea that I can flop through these pictures here in my photo thing, uh, there is another, when you see the hairs of it too, so the idea that if someone's sitting on the bench saying, well, it's a sun, well, then we have way more suns than what we think we've got because you're sitting there and saying that the idea of the wall, because that's what it is. It's bright rays of a sun flipping around, which it's not the sun of the Milky Way. It's Rigel Cantaris B. Now, this is the end of the one video, and the idea that if you go back to that one, uh, it's a wild shot at the end of this video is what I got on the title of it. It's the idea that it is the refresh button. I hit the refresh button on the Lasco at that time. So check that date out on there. So I don't even quote myself wrong. But we're going back here through the pictures. And that basically what it is is this here object here that keeps showing up on the back Lasco shots. As a matter of fact, I somewhat believe that, but I can't be positive that, that no, that's not the same date. It's not the 18th. I see it. That's what I'm saying. This is back on like the 15th or the 16th or the 17th that I took this photo, okay? And it, it basically, I just didn't want to re edit the photo. As a matter of fact, I'm going to plop back through and check this out. NASA logo. Ha ha ha. So they've been looking at that for a long time, okay? So when did they first see this? In the late 50s did they see this? And they made the NASA logo, okay? This is a, a recent Kruitz group comet Lasco picture, okay? Gigantic V flash comet in the sun haha -ha. okay down there at uh this is a picture from down at plow the idea that there's another sun over there in a second and matter of fact let me flash back through here real fast because of my latest pictures on one of these here you're going to see an object over by and there it is check that object out and it moves pretty fast okay 
and that's there before the blotch comes? Or is that more proof that the idea that that's the doggone blotch you end up seeing, okay? But see, those are the photos I took in a row as we're going forward. It's going to be in the order that I took them. And the idea that basically, as you see this progression, I'm backing up, okay? So as I go forward, this is going to be the natural progression of the video. Bam, bam, bam. It comes out in front. I'm not playing with you folks. It basically, and you can watch the clock. And there I get in a virus because I'm telling you the truth again. It comes out in front of the dog on not the sun, Rigel Cantaris B, or another one of our sons. Okay? And basically, that's on the Soho. And I think you can still find it. If I go, then this is natural progression. Okay? Straight up, watch the clock. Bam, 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 bam. It comes up in front of, and it's not the doggone sun rising then, because basically, we're going to watch a video here in a second, and you're going to see through three days of time, and there's that little blotch, okay? That's there before it starts coming. 11, 10 p.m., 18, or is it when it disappears? Yeah, so the idea that 11.35 p.m., 11.10, yeah. So the idea this drops, because it drops at... Exactly, 11.35 p.m., 11.45 p.m., 11.55 p.m. It drops in front of, and it's not the sun, folks. It falls in front of Rigel Cantaris B at that time. The sun doesn't come up down in the eastern, down in Antarctica. It's just like UTC time. The sun comes up over there at something like 5 in the morning or something, 5.35, 7, or 7.35 a.m. UTC time, okay? And that's UTC clock there. So... Like I say, down at Palau, Antarctica also, we also see another sun over here to the right that I found in some footage the, the night before last. Okay, and there is the also where you guys are always saying, well, it's an anomaly. Well, right here, it proves in this photo here from down there that the idea at, and this is that Rigel Cantaris B, and there it is again, glimmering up. The webcam ain't blacking out and making a black spot then. So I'm not trying to win an argument. What I'm trying to figure out is the idea is anything in context of what you're saying, and it seems like it's not the context of it being in some kind of a glitch of the camera. And this is, you can see right here, at 858.82. Or no, it's 58. Exactly, matter. I can't zoom that up, but it's, that is 0, 0, 58. Okay, so this was when it, Rigel Cantaris B or whatever this sun is coming up. And if you watch the horizon, it even looks like there's three friggin' suns coming up. It almost looks like one there. But as I show you here in this wide out view, you can see that over there. Now, is that a planet glowing over there? Quite possibly, but when I think, if I remember right, when I looked at the deals, it doesn't show that. Okay. We're going to get to the wormhole later in the future, okay? So we got the uh, also way more than one Brock object because we knew that it was only supposed to be Venus and uh, Mercury, I think, up there. So And we're being able to see Venus and all kinds of stuff like that. Well, then that's fine. That might be true. That's no big, big old surprise there. But this here object here in my video back there on... You know, if you go and watch the one that says watch for the wi wild uh, object at the end of video, okay? And I think that's going to come up here again in a second, Okay. So, and I think that's what the pictures I was showing you, the Venus and, this, and everything was down there where the idea that it, you shouldn't be able to see it in those photos. So, there is the badass shot of, they did some kind of x-ray thing they wanted to know. NASA not wanted to know. World powers, the government, the United States of America, everybody wanted to know, what is this? It's been seen it up there for a hell of a long time by the sun. What the hell is it? Gigantic particle of the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen, even these here objects here also. Okay, so now... There it is, captured on that, and yeah, it ended up getting locked out, like a virus coming in or something like that. So I keep on popping back through some of these recent pictures. So when you say that this is some kind of a glitch of a camera, you are beginning to be proven wrong, okay? I.e., just back up what I just played you. And I'm not trying to prove you wrong. What I'm showing you is this when it came up, and I just showed you on a clock where the idea that this black anomaly at the Casey photo thing it comes down and pops in front of it, okay? Sun's been going crazy. Here's some shots of the sun, and basically, I don't know, is this one going to be the one where the idea we uh, even, yeah, because well, on the 15th, so there it is. Is it Rigel Cantaris B? Is it a piece of property from the supergiants that has hit the sun and is on fire like a son of a buck, and it's just basically a small planet or something, 
Okay? And the idea that in that time lapse, if you go to the what question mark video of mine, it shows you this object moving from the right to the left. There ain't a god dog gone planet in our known Milky Way in the way I've, they've taught us from NASA for years. There's nothing that we know of that moves from the right to the left. You go watch my what question mark video. Nothing moves from the right to the left. Okay? Is it Rigel Cantaris B? It really shouldn't unless Rigel Cantaris B is out in front of the sun, which this should be the sun. We're getting all the solar flares. That's what Core and all of our SOHO and everything gives us pictures from. The idea that is, if this is Rigel Cantaris B and it's centered and moved over this way. Now, Rigel Cantaris B does not rise. Does it move from the right to the left? Because this is stereo ahead view, okay? We don't know. Now let's go to the recent, let me bring up the recent shot so you get some kind of fresh recent stuff. But we are basically proving that the idea, you roll this back what I played in this video, and you're going to see that the idea at that clock, at that 11 o'clock, the bam, the bam, the bam, that anomaly comes up in front of it and is not right there when the, and it's not the sun. It's Rigel Cantaris B, or prove me wrong, because what the frig sun is it? And it's in the supergiant's main sequence, and it's when the earth rotates over to it. Okay? It's not rising because it should be Rigel Cantaris B because Rigel Cantaris B does not rise. Look up Rigel Cantaris B. Kent. K E N T A R I S B. Rigel Cantaris B. Okay. Now, the photo people, I don't blame you. Okay? But the idea that it's sure bleeding true that the idea that that's a god darn anomaly that pops out in front of, not the sun, in front of Rigel Cantaris B, or prove me wrong what the hell sun that is that does come up because it's not the sun from the Milky Way. All right. Okay, and backing up through the photos here, the stills through that, so that everybody kind of knows that. And then we'll go to, and that was a blown up like a thousand percent of that same shot there. And we'll keep going through this. And this is why it was moving. And that was a, I think, around that time of a shot. And we're going to get some more fresh of that in a second. Hang okay, so today that's what they don't want you to see at the sun. Recent Lasco in black. We're flaring. It's got that flaring there. It's probably more than likely our still thing if you buy it. If you go back to the video that it is wild shot at the end of this video, video of mine. That was basically I'm blabbing about this, and then at the end I find this with that shot I just showed you of x-ray or vision or whatever the heck, but it sure shows that object, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, so this will match up to the idea of this is our live North America, and basically tonight uh, you will have, since you're seeing this, the idea that if we show a fireball tonight or tomorrow, uh, anything we're going to see in a night sky in the United States, North America, the moon and Mars is going to be not in it, so it's going to be fact that if we have something bright, not going to be the doggone sun, and it's not going to be Venus, it's not going to be Mercury, it's not going to be Saturn, and it's not going to be the moon or Mars. So you better get ready to hang on to your pants because they're going to fall off because the idea that we are going to have bright objects in the sky and fireball tonight. And there's a clock for this as I scroll up. That is the same calendar. Okay, there you go. There's a date. All right, there has been some cell phone disruptions today. You know, if you've been on the phone, we are getting CME action, okay? And there you go. Go to this. Go to Sky Artist, Solar Artist, Artist at Solar IMG and check it out. You'll see the pole wagging its ass off. That's the pole Antarctica there. And then the North Pole is slightly moving towards the uh, northeasterly, okay? And that's way different than what we know because the idea that, and there's our anomaly. I don't even have to blow it up. We're still there. A little bit more to the left of the sun. And the idea that you go to polar drift and they will show you on polar drift how much the polar has been moving around going to towards Europe. Okay, so let's take a live or look or pretty darn recent up on Lasco real fast. Looks like it's... So there's a recent shot right there at that time. So, and if you go to the movies, you'll see this stuff popping in like crazy. If anybody, you go to the movies, go to the, go to the movies for Soho, and you will see it. And if you don't think that this is something massive down there in these hours and time frames, and not a planet that's coming down there and in front of whatever, because that should be the sun daylight, 24-7 pretty much down there, a little bit of gap, rising and falling. But the idea that there is something even also in front of the sun from those hours right there, okay? So it's big. There's nothing down in the Antarctic that can create a shadow like that, especially there on that ice area. 
So this is why there's troops to Australia, folks. This is down below Australia, and it's right there. It's scaring the hell out of everybody. Humongous. Legal disclaimer.